लोगों को मैरिज में हमेशा करनी चाहिए रोल प्ले जनरली a nice actor you can respect the idea of a relationship perhaps or appreciate some things but idolize is a really strong word because i don't think people really know um i mean we're just like normal people what goes into a relationship if you're going to idolize someone more than movie stars sometimes you should probably idolize the non famous person next door you know who's managed to send his kids to school yeah, happily like who's yeah a nice balanced middle class life um is also worthy of adulation in that sense not just celebrities not because but unfortunately we only know really celebrities when we want to give examples and generally i think the life of a celebrity in a relationship can be quite tough like when we started going out also i mean it can be quite insecure you don't know um i mean you're working with attractive people and you're in you know traveling the world and going all over the place so uh, to maintain a healthy relationship in those circumstances is sometimes a little hard and anyone who's managed to do it with grace is uh worthy of respect so there's lots of celebrity couples i think that have done it really well uh, so which couple according to you is like acing marriage right now well i again acing marriage i mean who knows i mean you 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 look like you're acing marriage and you might not be so uh, that's but, also an art yeah <laughs> but uh i i i like um virat and anushka i think they look uh really nicely balanced together uh, so mm. you know they they seem happy and um maybe it's because you know my parents had a similar balance um okay, that i kind of like appreciate that like a movie star and a cricketer cricketer uh, different worlds and but why aren't you saying that where also acing marriage yeah ah um not well, just virat and anushka uh, it's not good to praise yourself <laughs> no <laughs> no but now it's okay we're at least setting some uh, kind of goals i think in some way well nazar na lage perhaps that's why and now for a question that has always come up in our youtube comment section which is what according to you should be that one mistake that should never be done in a marriage well i mean you know broadly speaking disrespect but you know very specifically you know uh, don't be unfaithful that's pretty much a relationship destroyer don't attack the maid that be rule number 1 i'd say <laughs> so It's been known to happen apparently. Oh God, Saif, वो क्या एक चीज है जो लोगों को marriage में हमेशा करनी चाहिए, like you know to keep the spark alive. Role play. Okay, we, okay, we, 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 okay, we, okay, we, 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 actually our show is we've spoken about every possible topic on the show, Sex. so I guess it's fine. If you have slightly different things to do also, you know, if there's a little bit of freshness when you meet at the end of a day, um, or or after a couple of days if you have some some new ideas to swap so i think repetition and a mundane kind of existence is what is a bit worrying for everybody because you know any long term relationship can get a bit so repetitive so so i'm saying it's really space. Uh, so it's not space as much as different interests also i i i think you should not be too pressured about keeping the spark alive and it's a really scary thing yeah. you have to keep the spark alive yeah. like Then you know like too much pressure like woody allen said you know he said i can't keep up the same level of charm for 10 years i'll have a heart attack yeah. you know, have to <laughs> so sometimes you know it's okay you've got to find ways to keep your own spark alive but like you always say that you keep saying that we should go out for dinner and then like come no, of course there's basic like things really yeah. and i'm like no okay i mean so, you know a little bit of an effort laziness is a villain generally in hmm. life you know if you can and and people say love also is a verb it's something that you know has to be shown and practiced like if you don't feel like it and you go and pick someone up from the airport once in a while you know it just makes things um so then a you should nicer. do that as well uh yeah i know i'm, I'm <laughs> so that's why clearly you're not keeping don't get me on the show you're not coming to pick i'll be exposed <laughs> it's been it's been 11 years you yeah. haven't bothered me i picked you up once cuz your your mother called and said that there's trouble in london or something you but know. that was like i think that was also 10 but years no, ago it was not long ago it was about 3 years ago no i don't think so people have compared marriage to like a base camp you know and if you want to climb mountains you need a good base camp before you can climb a mountain but if you spend all your time climbing mountains there'll be no base camp left but so that's the a, balance, that's an amazing thing if you can balance those things i mean that's the way to do it and i think it. you do that 
I mean, I think we both do that, yeah. and it's important. Everyone learns from their parents' marriage, Seth. What yeah. have you learned from Amma and Abba's um, Well, the fact that you can be really different in your interests and um, career choices and passions, and at the same time have uh, a really healthy relationship about and be together and be you know committed to each other and absorb each other's kind of um, lives. I don't know how much he absorbed about films. But he was very happy to um, support her. And we never really talked too much about cricket at the dining table. We didn't talk about films too much. We talked about the real world and um, normal friends you would come over and, and they would talk about things that were happening and just normal kind of conversation. So I think the main thing I learned is to respect um, your partner's life yeah. without trying to take it over and also uh, you know, how they found interests that they shared.